between Tunbridge Angels and North Wales United. We're here this afternoon at the Halton Wealth Longweed Stadium. Or at N Jones 1969 or on the radio's Facebook pages as Tunbridge Angels get us underway. Great start, plays a one two back, goes back to the defence. Comes across the back line, played out onto this near side. That's aimed back towards Jamal 10. Jack Wood goes over his head. Headed clear by new signing Aaron Powell. Swelling United just with the warning half of Stephen Payne. Stephen Payne plays it down the wing. Clear for number five. So, for Welling and walks near post. Cleared. Right at Tunbridge only goes around the edge of the 18. Well, box the ball comes in. Stephen Payne on the turn. And he was offside. It's a dink, lovely dink ball down to that near side. Once again, Welling United picking up any loose balls at the moment. Playing some good stuff. It's Darren Aaron Sibley. Loose success here. Casarati for Welling. He plays the ball out to that far side. That's gone out to Aziz. Aziz gets a cross in. Right across, across the face of the Tumble Jones. The goal was in it. Indeed, he's gone out for a corner. Edfleet nil, Dartford three. Edfleet nil, Dartford three. National League set. Local derby there, obviously, at Edfleet. So we're back in the way. And the ball's come across the, the Tumble Jones box. And it's Manny Perry that gets the shot. Greenwich plays it down to uh, Jack Wood. Wood ch changes one. Plays it on the near side of Jamie Fielding. Fielding with a cross. It's clear by Miles Roberts. It's a shot by the number 10. Jack Wood saved by Miles Roberts. And Welling managed to clear it away. Lewis Guard. Sorry. Lewis Guard to take the kick for Tunbridge. That's aimed up towards the centre. Heads go up. There's a loose ball. It's come down to a Tunbridge flow. He gets a shot off. Managed to get saved on the line by Miles Roberts. He can't keep hold of it. Tunbridge still on the attack. In the box. Ball's come across the back. Cleared by Welling, it's only gone out as far as the Tumbridge lap, captain on this near side, Sunny Miles, Miles plays the ball back to Guard, Guard chips the ball in, headed clear by the Aziz, but it's only as far as Aaron Sibia, Conti Aaron Sibia looks up, plays the ball back to Baron Barrett, the ball's coming out to that near side, it's played along the, the line to Lewis Collins, Collins has to check his run, he plays the ball back to Brown Barrett, and he plays the ball through to Jordan Greenwich, Greenwich goes around the keeper, Swift thinks a ball forward, try to find Greenwich. Loose balls come down to the seven. Lewis Guard, Lewis Guard loses possession to the Welling. That's gone as far as uh, Daniel and Krumer. And Krumer to Aaron Powell. Powell plays it out on the far side. It's to Addy Aziz. Addy Aziz, can he control it? Plays it to Taylor Maloney. Maloney approaching the edge of the box. Plays a lovely ball to Krumer. Krumer gets a cross in. And there's Addy Aziz. And Addy Aziz and a great goal there for Welling. That was a fantastic bit of play there by Welling. The ball was played down the uh, that right left hand side, and there was a fantastic cross, and there was Eddie Aziz making his way into the box. Has gone out to throw into Tumble, he's quickly taken his play to Wagstaff. Wagstaff. Far side across comes in, playing towards that near post, the player goes in. Oh, it's a, it's, I think it's a great save there by Miles Roberts. That was a great cross there, there was a, a cross came in. Slow build up by Tumble Jones the ball's come out to the far side. Can he get a cross in? Ball's played back to guard. Guard once again he comes to Jordan to Aaron Sibia. Aaron Sibia gets shot. Smashes against the bar. Well, come away. The ball is a by boy. It's into the box and it's Addy Aziz. Addy Aziz just outside the box on the far side. Needs some support. Can he get a cross in? He plays the ball to Payne. Payne has to check his run. Ball's out to Melito, Eddie Alito out the far side, plays it ball back to Adi Aziz, Adi Aziz under pressure from two Tunbridge Angel players, plays the ball back to Alito, Alito to Taylor Maloney, Maloney looks up, can he get a shot off, he gets a shot off, and that's a low shot this time, and you know what Taylor Maloney's like once he gets that ball. Going down the wing, cross comes in, it's a low one, it's cleared by Jamie Sendles White. Goes out on the far side to Adi Aziz. Adi Aziz manages to keep it in. Can he control it? Can he keep it in play? Dinks the ball forward, tries to find Payne, and Payne's through. He's only got the keeper to beat. Can he send it? And he's hit the post. He's finished at the valley. He's trapped in one point of ball one. Also, full time ahead of Hempstead. He's finished head off Hempstead Town. One to the other city three. He's probably possibly the last kick of the game. Cleared by Wayne. The ball is coming. It's not cleared by Wayne. Come out to Brian Barrett. Referee looks.
to the wash for one. The keeper's up, the keeper gets the shot off, he's charged down. The keeper gets another shot off. I didn't realise the keeper had come out. It's Tundra Jagels now, there's a low ball. It's gone off of another Wedding United player, it's gone off. It's gone off for a, uh, a throw, a call, a call to Tundra. We're actually in injury time and injury time. But the keeper, Jonathan Keaton Henley, didn't even realise that he made his way up to the edge of the pitch. But there he is, all in pink. This could be the last one to find a kick of the game. Cool, it comes in, they've got the tools out back close. Keith, Keith gets the head of it. Oh, it's a header by the keeper. It's a header by the keeper and there's Miles Roberts tips it over the bar. And I think the referee is blown the final whistle. The referee... The final whistle has gone this afternoon. The Tundra Jones was by surrounding the referee, Jack Packman. As manager Warren Freeney shakes the opposing manager's hand.